and welcome to this week's episode, which comes from the Starboard Locker. Locker. In this week's Mayhem and Madness, we have Rope Tidies, Chicken Coops, and... Oh, yeah, and a new patented tool, all courtesy of Beverly. We have a new tool? Yeah, when you made the, um, the poop thingy out of... Um, Oh, the Poop Inspector! <laughs> oh, I forgot all about the Poop Inspector. Yes. So, if you're watching Sid and Ant from SV and Pavlovist, you're going to love our Poop Inspector. <laughs> Everyone knows that yachting is glamorous, but in the summertime you do not have to worry about your cooking gas getting so cold overnight that it liquefies in the bottle and then there's no breakfast for me and Gaynor. just yabber a lot and um, what we do when we yabbering is um, we talk about different solutions to little problems and um, what we find at the end of the day when we finish our solutions is uh, we usually uh, brought it right down to very very simple things so um, We've got this really complicated idea about a, uh, a tiny for our dinghy and um, our additional ropes. Um, we've got this really complicated idea and we've reduced it down to two bungee cords and a couple of hooks. So I'll just show you. Yeah, so basically my, dinghy, my bungee cords, I'm just going to put them here. And I'm just going to put them in with a couple of P clips. Uh, but we're actually going to sicaflex a bit of uh, wood onto here. Um, and that's going to have the hooks in. So um, our big fancy solution of a of a, um, a, a tidy here and everything is just basically going to be two bungee cords. <laughs> Dookie. So um, uh, here is the um, dinghy solution just to keep the dinghy bits and bobs. As you can see it's just a bungee cord and um, I've put the uh, seat uh, down here on our uh, shelving that we have for um, you know bits and bobs. So that's there, there, there. That's it. Solution solution done it's very simple but um that will work now i haven't cut it or anything i've just um done that and that's so that i like to test ideas out and just see does this work and if it doesn't work then i can always make another idea and i'm not wasting things um but that's that okay so what we want to do is we want to create a new rope tidy so i have got Oh yes, a chunk of wood which I um, found um, scrap and I've cut it to shape and it's going to go just there. <laughs> Happy days, I've got some hooks in place and now I'm going to put some ropes on them. Yay. One of the issues that we have is here is our um, 
hose for um, the shower. Now, um, one day, you know, I'd like to actually use the shower, but at the moment, I don't know if you can see, it's running up there, uh, and it's actually uh, cable tied down behind all that lot, so that's not going to be very good, so we're going to have to find a solution for that. <sighs> Every time Bev and I do a job, another job gets on. Uh, this is our um, bilge pump. I must admit, the bilge pump is on our list of jobs to do. But as you can see, I've just pulled that out and I didn't even push it, pull it that hard. But uh, another job to do, add it onto the list. And now that the job is done, let's just hope that Beverly lets me out. Hmm. But she'll let me out as soon as she's tested it. Well, one of the um, jobs that you need to be able to um, be on a sailing yacht is the mother of all invention. So what I have done is I have created a light for our starboard locker. I have used a little Tupperware box, um, you know, which has got clips on it uh, for the bulb casing. I've used a spare LED bulb, a few LED wires that I've just got hanging around and um, then an inline switch. So, um, you know, it's just You've got to be creative because um, sometimes you just can't find the right solution. So making your own is just one of those things you have to do. And that little box is going inside the locker, so it should be protected anyway. Yeah, it's it's inside. But even so, I've, um, you know, I've got double insulation on my wires. So, you know, I've still and the um, sandwich box will protect it and things like that. So even though it's inside, I've put in three layers of addition, well, two, you know, two additional uh, layers of protection. All I will say, if that's a sandwich box, it must be for hobbits. It's not really a sandwich box. It's you just, just called it one. Well, it's, it's a little storage box. It's, um, it's my stock cube box. It was your stock cube box. <laughs> My cupboard's been raided. First you use my second best kitchen knife, then you nick my stock cubes. Ah, I've put them in something else. I'm not going to ask what. It's a business card holder. Oh, God. <sighs> so, um, down there I've got a little junction box. I've actually got two wires coming out because this one is going to be a light in here in a bit. Well, let's test this one out first. Oh, victory is ours. Excellent news. So at least one of the lights are done. And now I've just got to put in the wiring for the cockpit locker, the cockpit light. Yay. Okay, Bev, so what have you made me? I have made the poop tool. To you, it may look like an ordinary block of wood with two little DIY blocks screwed into it. But to us, this is the key. This is the passport to the black water poop tank. Our poop tank has a lid on it so tight, we can't actually open it for inspection purposes to make sure that it's drained or blocked or whatever. So we've invented the poop inspector tool. Are we going to patent it then? Yes, yeah, I suppose we could do. <laughs> Anyway, it works like this. This lid, we just cannot turn, no matter what we do. So we invented the poop inspector tool. So we put this, the two blocks fit into there, put a bit of weight on it and apply some pressure and... Yay! And I'm not opening it any more than that because it stinks. stinks. Now, if you're curious about how bad the smell is, call along to the boat sometime, pump to an E31, we'll open it up, you can stick your nose in and we'll... Oh, Jesus. We'll even have some smelling salts handy to help bring you round again. So I'm going to use my patented tooth pull to close that up again. And the job is done. Excellent news. Oh, and I'm glad to report if you look up here, 
that the wiring has been tidied that you see in the video so yeah I did all that nice tidy in there yeah. and uh, we'll be doing the um, the other wiring, cop, the yeah. other wiring when I've had here. a think well I feel like uh, I'm on the home straight now in the starboard locker because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make some improvements to how our cage is attached so what I've done is I um, asked uh, the marina if they had any um, spare bits of wood and they did this is actually um, the pontoon part of the pontoon um, but what we've done is we've uh, spliced it to shape using the trick of uh, um, a divider uh, a pen and a divider we've got that we sanded that I'm going to uh, varnish that tonight um, but now uh, while it's daylight I'm actually going to remove these bits so that I can do a better job well I managed to um, get the little blocks of wood off and I'm afraid I had to uh, resort to the uh, final demands it was a hammer in the end <laughs> nothing is going to stop me anyway it's gone now so I've sanded it all down and now that'll be ready for my bit of wood once it's uh, got varnished Yay. I'm doing this sanding in the toilet. Workshop, please. <laughs> well, today I'm going to be making a chicken coop. Because I've got some chicken wire. No, I'm not really making a chicken coop. But You'll just have to wait and see what I am making. So what are you doing down there, Beth? Freezing and being highly confused. <laughs> Other than that, absolutely fine. Right, go on. <sighs> We're trying to make an enclosure to keep the cockpit shower away from piping, hot exhausts, things like that. And we're using chicken wire because it allows air to circulate. Um, it doesn't matter about it being mild steel, it's not going to rust down here. Um, it's galvanised anyway. Um, and it's just not quite going to plan. Is that normal for us? Highly. <laughs> Yeah, but our problem is the cage enclosure is actually pushing against this and uh, that would have the um, fenders up against it so this may have to have an inch or two cut off it just so that it uh, fits better. So this is the chicken wire cage we've made for the uh, cockpit shower which runs all the way down. Um, it stays clear of things like the Eberspacker exhaust hose, which you can see here running up. And we think we'll be all right with this. We think that the position of the new edge here and th this bit, which stops the fenders going into the Eberspacker's area, we think that will all be okay. So we're going to, um, and you can see there that line of cable ties supporting the chicken wire cage, which is just right there. The rest of the cage is behind me and uh, for some reason there's a rubbish bin down here so <laughs> I'm stuck down here. So I'm stuck down here and I can't get out. Up there is freedom, up in the real world. Ah <laughs> oh dear, the joys of boating. Buy a boat they said, you'll live your life in a starboard locker. I never believed it but it was true. <laughs>